Hi everyone, this video I'm going to show you how to play a DVD on Linux and in my case I'm going to show you how to play a DVD that it doesn't mount by itself you know in my case it's not even a DVD I mean it, there is no physical disk but it is an ISO file so what I did I mounted the ISO file here in my home uh, directory and then media and then ISO you know if I go back here I have the audio underscore TS and the video underscore TS directories let me open with Ranger actually as you can see the, the audio directory it's empty and the video directory it's, it's where everything is actually and the main the DVD itself are these dot uh, vob vob files and as you can see here for the the size of the file you, you can I mean you can get what's the DVD you know here I have like 84 kilo and here it is like a uh, thousand megabyte you know all right actually maybe byte yeah whatever <laughs> from here you know you're able to launch the single uh, part you know of the DVD as you can see here are four parts plus the menu the main menu but it would be cool you know to launch all the DVD all together so on Linux you probably you mount the DVD and then you end up with the file manager uh, you know with these two directories with these files and everything basically what you have to do you can use um, I think more or less any media player what I use is MPV and VLC so MPV actually can't play the the main menu but it just play the DVD fine you know what you have to do is just MPV and then the path where the the ISO in my case is mounted or where the DVD is mounted so media ISO and as you can see just started there are also the different as you can see chapters which you can go there with uh, page up and page down buttons you know chapter 4 chapter 3 chapter 2 but as you can see there is no menu the same thing you can do with VLC so VLC and then the path where the DVD is mounted and here you have the menu you know you can also go full screen actually the strange thing is that I have no pointer so I have no idea where I am now now I just click down once so I know they am on subtitles but th there is no pointer so I don't know if it's a VLC problem or is this ISO problem I have no idea so right now I'm in chapters yeah and now as you can see I can select a specific chapter as I as you already saw there was I mean there is four chapters in this DVD so I just go part 3 and press enter and as you can see I am on part 3 right now and by the way on VLC you can just select everything from here I use MPV because it's I prefer it but also VLC it's there and probably many other uh, media player VLC you can go back to the menu by the way something that you can't you can't do with uh, MPV it's also stated in the the man page for MPV. All right, hope it was helpful. Just use the media player and then the path to the to where the DVD is mounted, and it should work. As you can see, it worked with MPV and VLC. All right, see you the next time, guys. Bye bye.